QuickBooks Online 2024 Expense and Vendor Reports. Get ready and some coffee because we're diving into it within two its QuickBooks Online 2024. Here we are online in our browser searching for QuickBooks Online test drive, looking for the result that has Intuit.com in the URL, Intuit being the owner of QuickBooks, selecting the United States version of the software and verifying that we're not a robot. Opening up our major financial statement reports like we do every time. The reports on the left hand side. We're in the favorites, right clicking on that balance sheet to open in a new tab. Same with the PL profit and loss income statement, right click to open in a new tab. Let's go to that middle tab to see what opened up, closing up the hamburger and change the range back to 03. 010123 tab, 123123 tab. Run it to refresh it. Let's go to the tab to the right, close up the hamburger, and those ranges, they are a changing once again. 010123 tab, 123123 tab, run it to refresh it. That's the setup process we do every time. These being our major two financial statement reports, balance sheet income statements, sometimes called the profit and loss. All other reports generally giving more detail about one or multiple line items of of these two major financial statement reports this time we're continuing looking on the income statement the performance report and looking at more detail related to the expenses let's take a look at the section let's go to the tab on the left reports down below i'm going to close up the hamburger again and scroll down so we're on this time the section of expense and vendors now when you hear that a uh, summary the title of this section you would expect that most of these reports would have to do with the income accounts of the expense accounts giving us more detail it also says vendors so you might think that that would be giving us more detail about the accounts payable balance sheet account but the accounts payable is generally taken care of by this section which says what you owe so i think the general idea of this title is to give us an idea that these are reports giving us more information about the income statement expenses, which are usually paid to vendors. All right, so we first have the 1099 transaction detail report. We'll get into the 1099s a little bit more specifically in a future presentation. That report is specific to tax preparation information that's necessary in the United States for people that are contractors, unincorporated businesses that we pay, that we pay over a certain dollar amount. And we'll talk more about that later. Then we've got the check detail report. So the check detail, let's just right click and open that one up. And we take a look at the check detail report. And this is in the new format once again. Uh, hold on a second. I messed it up. Let me open it up again. Let me, let me do it again. Do it again. I'm going to right click, open it up. And then we'll close up the hamburger. And then I'm going to change the dates in the new format of the reports. Date range going from 010123 tab, 123123 tab. And there's our check information and uh, the detail about it. Now, this is a nice quick way to get the check detail. This is a report that you can kind of think of as related to a vendor type report. Why? Because the other side of the transaction is generally going to be an expense type of account that we're paying for. Uh, so that's so that's the idea. Although, of course, this is also detail that you might find as information related to the to the cash account, which is a balance sheet account. So you can might be able to do a similar report, go into the cash account in here, drilling down, seeing the transaction detail, which provides both the checks and deposits and then possibly filtering it from here so that you can add a filter of transaction type and then you can look for all the transaction types that are decreases to the checking account which can be kind of tedious it's going to be equal to because we have all these different kind of checks right so if i look through here i have uh the different forms we might add uh billable we've got to do tax service chart bill payment check so there's a check type form and then uh, a cash expense uh, type form we have then a, 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 a payment a check so there's our standard check and there's just a few of them 
liability payment check, so that's a check type form, and so on and so forth. Paycheck would be a check type form, an expense form. If I just had a normal expense form to do, then we have that one. So that the, the benefit of having these different transaction types for check type forms is that it gives us a little bit more detail in terms of what that particular transaction is doing. But you can see that if I'm looking for all decreases to the checking account, it gives me a little bit more of a sorting difficulty to try to pick all those up. So I think that this form could be nice in that uh, it might pick up all, you know, m most of those decreased type forms in basically one report would be the general idea. But in any case, it also gives us more detail about each of, you know, the transactions uh, that are within them. So let's go back then and see the next one. So we've got the expense by vendor summary. So now we can see our expenses by vendor. This is the main one I want to take a look at in a little bit more detail. So I'll come back to that one. Then we've got the open purchase orders. Now the purchase orders, I'm going to right click and open this one would only be used if you have inventory and you're purchasing things uh, on uh, and you're purchasing things with the use of the purchase orders. Let's change the date range once again, going back to to let's just do a custom range from 01012312 tab. And so now we have our purchase orders and those are going to be